This is a question that I've mentioned about pillars of Iman in my talk and compared with similarities in the Hindu scripture. Are there any similarities between pillars of Islam and the Hindu scripture? Yes, sister. Time didn't permit me to speak about all the similarities. We can speak for days together. As far as the pillars of Islam are concerned, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Iman, hadith number eight, the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that Islam is based on five principles, on five pillars. The first is affirming La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the messenger of Allah. The second is establishing Salah. Third is Zakah charity. Fourth is Som, that is fast in the month of Ramadan. And fifth is pilgrimage to the city of Makkah once in a lifetime. These are basically five pillars. The first one about one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the final messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa I have already discussed in my talk. Regarding the second pillar of Salah, the main point of Salah, the main portion of Salah in Islam is sujood, that is prostration. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran chapter number 3 verse number 43, Ya Maniya Muknuti li Rabbi ki vasjudhi That O Mary, worship thy love devotedly and bow down with those who bow down. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hajj chapter number 22 verse number 77, Ya yuladina amanu, O you believe, bow down and prostrate yourself and prostrate with those who prostrate. So the major part is prostration. In Hinduism, there are various types of worship. One of the types of worship is called as Sashtang. Sashtang means from sa, meaning with aunt, meaning eight. Ang means part of body. So Sashtang means eight parts of the body. That means when you worship, you should touch eight parts of the body. Now if you analyze, the best way a Hindu can do Shashtang is the sajood we do in Salah. The eight parts of the body we touch is the forehead, is the nose, is the two hands, is the two knees and the two feet. The third pillow of Islam is Zakat, that's charity. 2.5% of excess wealth in charity every year. Charity is even prescribed in the Quran in Surah Al-Hashar, chapter 59, verse number 7. That charity has been prescribed so that the wealth does not circulate only among the rich. This is exactly what is mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 10, hymn number 117, verse number 5. That gives charity to the poor. And you may never know, today you are rich, tomorrow you may become poor. And wealth circulates like the wheels of a chariot. Same thing as Islam. Pillar number four, Psalm. That means fasting for the complete lunar month of Ramadan. Abstain from food and drink from dawn to sunset. Hinduism has various types of fasting. One type of fasting mentioned in Manusmriti, chapter number six, verse number 24, is fasting for one month. Fasting is further mentioned in Manusmriti, chapter number four verse number 222 and Manusmiti chapter number 11 verse number 204. The fifth pillar is Hajj. That every adult Muslim who has the means to perform Hajj should at least perform Hajj that is pilgrimage to the holy city of Makkah in the month of Hajj. There are various types of pilgrimage Hinduism. One type is mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 3, hymn number 29, Verse number four, it speaks about Ilaispad, a tirtha, a place of worship called as Ilaispad. Ila means Allah, Spad means place, so Ilaispad means a place of God. And it says it is in the center of Prithvi, earth. And we know that Makkah is the center of the world. So Veda says one place of pilgrimage is the house of Allah. We call it Baitullah, which is the center of the earth. And further, if you read in Rig Ved, book number 3, hymn number 29, verse number 11, it speaks about Narashansa, about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this place of pilgrimage is nothing but Makkah. And if you open and read the Sanskrit dictionary, it says, Elaspad means a place of God, a place of Tirtha. Mecca pilgrimage is also mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 1, hymn number 128, verse number 1. These were in short the similarities between Hinduism and the pillars of Islam.